everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I have returned making another Linux Lite video. So, what are we doing today? Well, like, another video today. Well, what are we doing for the second time today? Well, we are actually going to be, I'm going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Snap Store, which is an app store for Ubuntu, but a bunch it's based off Ubuntu, which is based on Debian. So yeah. So we're gonna start off by logging into our computer. And the next what we're gonna do is install the Snap Store. So let's get our stuff working. Hopefully it loads soon because I can't really cut the video because it takes forever to load and it will make the file and stuff. Okay, should be working. Yep, it's turning on. I can tell. Yep, there we go. Let's up forward a little bit. There we go. So, what you're going to want to do, well, I'm not going to do updates right now because that's for a different video, but what you're going to want to do is when it says, welcome to Linux Lite, you can just close it to that. What you want to do now, as you can see, you want to go right here where my mouse is, the little, like, that's like a command prompt. Once you do that, you want to go into there, put this in full screen so everybody can see this. Okay, so what do you want to do? As you can see right here, there is a little like terminal thing. Okay, so what you want to do is type in this code. Hold on, why is this? I can't get my camera up. Okay, I'm gonna look up, type in sudo s u d o a p t i n s t a l l. So that's sudo apt install s a s n a p d. You want to type in your password. There you go. It's going to actually get some stuff on there. Oh. Oh, I forgot. That was a longer password. Okay. So, it's getting the snapped thing, which will actually let us get the snap command, snap command, which will let us install other things. Okay, as you can see, it's almost done. It's like 60% done, if you can see right down there. Okay, so, next. Wait for, don't do anything, don't type anything, don't do anything. Whoops. Okay, as you can see, when it has that little thing right there, type in, hold on. Right there. What you want to type is S U D O S N A P install snap. You want to put that little like minus symbol right there and then store. No spaces. As you can see, it's going to let you do that. And right there. It should get everything. Can't really, like. So that I'm moving so much stuff because it's like I can't really get, like, it down. So it's going to, like, do these little spinny things right there. 
And once it's done, it will download all these files and stuff. After everything is working, what you're going to want to do is close out of that, like when it's done. Close out, I'll show you that, and then you want to reboot your computer. Once a couple of these tutorials are done, and like every, you get used to everything if you do that. Like you get everything installed and stuff like that. I'm probably going to go into my other hard drive, which I have all the stuff in there that uh, I'm going to get. You could probably get a virtual box out here if you have want a virtual environment and stuff. If you wanted to. I'm not sure if you want it, but it's, a, it's an idea. Okay, um, show you the stuff. Wait for that, like, little blue line right there. Once you see that back down there, it should be fully installed. Really need to get a screen recorder for this. Still working on it. This will be a pretty quick video because it's not like one of those like complete large installs like the operating system. Okay, there you go. I want to get out of here, and then right here, as you can see, you want to. Okay, so you see that little green circle. Right here, click that. It's gonna say log out. What you wanna do next is just click reboot. Well, unless you wanna shut down the computer, then yeah. After this, I'm gonna show you the last part of this, which will be showing you the Snap Store so you can see everything inside there. I'm gonna try to test download an application. It's pretty simple to do and everything, so. Okay, it's loading. Okay, uh, you don't really need a USB anymore, so if you want to put anything on there, then there you go. Stop. Now. As you can see, it's going to keep popping up unless you want to turn that off. So, next what you're going to want to do is type in SNAP, and as you can see right there, it should say, like the blue highlighted right there, Snap Store. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to show you really quick how it works. Open it up. Okay, as you can see, you're going to see, welcome to software. Click Let's Go Shopping. Now, you can like find, uh, let's just look up Chromium because I like Chromium. Just look up, you know, whatever you want to look up. 
As you can see, I'm just going to get right here the Chromium web browser. Click there. It's going to ask you for your password. So just type in your quick password. As you can see, it's going to let you download it. As you see, it's going to say 99% done. And we're going to check in our applications and see if we actually have it, though. Because if we don't have it, then uh, whatever. Well, not really ever, like, just like. As you can see right here. Now, go to your menu and just look up whatever application you got. See Chromium web browser. Access the internet. And then it should load. You can also pin them to like right here. If you can see that, hold on. You can pin it to like right here. Like right where that is, so you can like actually get quick access to it. Clearly it's not working. Why is it not? Chromium. Just let me get in there. It doesn't look like Chromium is working right now. But you can get any application on here. I'm just going to shut down this. Okay guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Well, it's kind of like half the time. But, yeah. So, just a quick tutorial on how to do that. Hopefully you enjoyed everybody. Please, come watch my videos more so I know that you actually like the videos. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!